Hey, today's video is on recyclables. Now we all have recyclables in our home and what normally we just throw them in the recycle bin or the trash and we throw them away. But there's some of these things that can be very useful and we're going to be covering that on today's video and give you some ideas on how to use some of these recyclables and give you some great inspiration on doing some gardening. That's coming up next on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So today we're all talking about recyclables, all right? There's millions and millions and millions of tons of this stuff in the world every single day. Now, maybe you, me, and everybody else, if we could save a few of our recyclables to use for certain things that we're gonna discuss here in a minute, this way here, we keep it out of the landfills, we keep it out of the recycling bins, we keep it out of the recycling centers, and we can reuse that product for something different other than what it was bought for to save us money, which is golden, folks. Nowadays, with the inflation and everything else, if you can save some money and have some great creative ideas, it's a bonus for you and it's a bonus for the environment also. So let's get going on this video. First thing I wanna talk about is if you have prescriptions, okay? If you get prescriptions and you get these cool little bottles, right? These can be used for multiple different things. You can store screws in them, nuts, bolts. You, you can put in here paper clips, rubber bands, you can put fire starters in here too, also folks. You can also use these to put important paperwork in to keep it dry, to store anything that you wanna keep dry inside of these things because they range in sizes. This one's pretty good size. You can get quite a bit of stuff in here, all right? This would be a great tool to add to your toolbox and there's multiple uses for these little bottles. Next, let's just say, well, everybody has to do this at least on a weekly basis. You do your wash, you throw it in the dryer, right? What do you gotta do? You gotta clean out that lint trap, right? So instead of taking all that lint you take out and throwing it away, get yourself a baggie and fill it up. All right, folks, fill it up. I suggest, I only had just a half gallon, take a gallon size, and fill that bad boy packet full. For the main reason is, this lint, when you take it out of your dryer, you know, we all know what lint looks like, right? But you see all those small little fibers in there? All right, all you need is either a match, a lighter, a fire rod, anything like that, flint and steel, this, will start a fire faster than just about anything you can imagine. And it does burn for quite a long time. If you get a good ball of that put together and put it down to start a fire, it'll probably burn for at least 45 seconds. All right? And this way here, it gives you time to get the kindling on the top and get yourself a fire going. And you're doing it with your dryer lint from your dryer. All right, instead of throwing it away, I'm not saying you have to keep it for years, you know, start storing it for years and every, get yourself a gallon size, freezer bag, whatever, and stuff it completely full, and then you got plenty, all right? You can start a lot of fires if you stuff that sucker full with just your lint from the dryer. Perfect, and this way here, it does stay dry, so if you had to throw it into your backpack, if you shoved it in your pocket, it doesn't matter. It's gonna stay dry and you can start a fire whenever you may need one. Now, next on the list is, we're gonna talk about something else that everybody gets. Now, some states are trying to do away with these. So maybe you don't have these in your states or maybe your country, but we're talking about plastic bags, all right? <clears throat> you go to the store and stuff, they all use these plastic bags. All right, now what can we do with these plastic bags? There's a lot of advantages to having extra plastic bags around. 
For one, you can wad these bad boys right up, like so, and that will fit in your pocket also. There's a lot of plastic bags in this bag, folks. You can also use these in an emergency type situation. I'll take one bag out for demonstration. If you had to forage, all right? You had to go out and find food. Maybe you needed to find some kindling and stuff. Yes, maybe the kindling might poke a hole in it or something like that, but you get the idea. It's something that you can carry something in. It's also great if you are starting your garden off in the early spring and you're gonna get a frost or it's gonna get cold enough for one and you have those small little plants planted outside, these bags are great to drape over the top and then having the loop down here, you can loop these right at the bottom, all right? And you can put a rock or a stick or something right there to hold them over and cover the plant for the night to protect it. These bags are also great if, let's just say, you got a drafty house. Now, let's just have a scenario. Either it's really, really windy out, or it's really smoky out because there's a fire burning somewhere around your house. Maybe you live around the woods or something, and there's a forest fire, but you're getting the smoke. What do you do? You can take these bags, pull them out like this, and you can stuff them in around your doors. Maybe if you have a, a leaky window, you can stuff them in there to help keep the smoke or the wind or anything else out of your home. All right, so these are great for plugging up holes for short term. Now, there is just many, many things you can do with these bags. Those bags, they're, they're bad for the environment when you throw them in the trash because it takes forever for them to break down. So if you can save your bags and use them around the house for your small trash cans and things of that nature, but also think of an emergency situation, what you could do with those bags. Now, the next thing is, which I know we all have, okay? Unless you live in the Stone Age, toilet paper rolls, right? All these toilet paper rolls, these little ones, even the paper towel rolls. Now, what can we do with these things? There's not really a lot. I mean, it's not like, you know, they're very strong or anything else. But, if you need to start gardening, you get yourself a tray, you cut those in half, so you have two pieces. Okay, see that? There's two pieces. And what you do is, you put them in a tray like this, fill them with your dirt, put your seeds inside here, okay? And start your plants off in these. Here's a good reason why. This is biodegradable. You don't have to take it out of anything. You can dig your hole once these things have sprouted and you feel confident and you want to plant them in the ground. You dig your hole. You take the whole thing and set it down inside the hole, bury it up, water it really good. And over time, this just biodegrades down to nothing, right back to earth. And you get a nice plant that hasn't been touched it hasn't been, you know, nothing's been messing with its roots or anything else. So you got less chance of getting the planters, you know, when you plant your plants, sometimes they get stressed out, you know. And this way here, less stressed on the plants. So that's a good thing you can do with those. And I know that everybody has a lot of those things that you throw away all the time. Not to mention, one other thing, they will make a good fire starter. If the cardboard is dry, it will light really easy. Now, <clears throat> next in line, we're going to talk about aluminum foil rolls because those suckers are really thick and they're hard. All right, folks? I mean, you can't crush those suckers down. Now, what I like to do with these is, I did a video a long time ago. If you take and cut these bad boys in half, you can store all kinds of cool stuff on here for emergency situations. You can store them in your car, in your backpacks, your go bags. You can put them anywhere. You can put duct tape on here, electrical tape. You can put your bank line. You can put all types of things on here, fishing line, everything. 
you can make these into your own little kit so you have emergency supplies with you at all times and they don't break down i mean they're solid now yes if you did soak them in water and stuff they're going to break down because they're cardboard but if you have them in your car your backpack or whatever else all right chances of that happening are going to be very slim so you always have those emergency things with you and you're using reusing your aluminum foil roll instead of throwing it in the trash can it's a good way to recycle and reuse now <clears throat> i got two things left i want to talk about first one is these type of water bottles drink bottles okay this this so happens to be you know a, a body armor all right now the good thing with this bottle is it's not like a soda bottle soda bottles are real flimsy water bottles are real flimsy they probably wouldn't work too well one of these bottles it's real thick plastic okay this has multiple tools that can be implemented in this and all you would need for one of them is say a pair of stockings nylon stockings like what women wear either the the ankle style or the knee high would be just fine now what you could do is you're going to use this bottle because for one it's small it's lightweight okay say you need to filter water if you have that stocking you can take and fill this up with water you can put your stocking around here tie it off with a piece of bank line or just hold it depending on if you want to stand there and wait and then you dump this out into something clean another cup a pot whatever it may be now you just filtered out your water using your stocking you can rinse it out in the stream and reuse it again paper towels would work but only once and it had to be a decent paper towel like a bounty or something the cheap walmart ones forget it they're just going to break and it's useless that's why i would say a pair of stockings because you can rinse and reuse rinse and reuse and it is a beautiful thing you can also take the end if you can cut this off with your knife you actually have a good digging tool if you needed to dig now granted you're not going to be digging a foundation for your house but you have a digging tool in case you needed to dig some type of a small hole or anything like that instead of using your hands and taking a chance of cutting yourself or breaking something or whatever else you know one of these bottles that you're just going to throw in the recycle bin could come in very handy last on this list is a good old cotton balls and vaseline all right cotton balls can be used for quite a few different things they can plug up little holes and, and stuff like that um you know they're good for putting on uh you know medicines uh, topicals and things of that nature um but in this type of scenario with the vaseline all right you make your own fire starters you take your cotton ball and i've done videos on this folks you you put it you get a nice goop of vaseline you have rub it all around it really good you stuff it in the medicine bottle and you can get about 24 to 30 in here trust me it's in my video all right so then all you have to do when you want to start a fire is take and just open that sucker right up light it with whatever you got waterproof matches a big lighter use your your fire rod your fire steel whatever it's going to light like that and that sucker is going to burn for a good minute or two because it's coated in the vaseline all right so instead of having products i know this isn't a recyclable product but i wanted to bring this to you and just show you because a lot of people you know if they have like a half a bag of these things left or something and they've been in say their closet or something some people are really queer about using them they just want to get new ones because they're so cheap and they throw them away that's a waste because you can make fire starters with them and then you can always make a fire so i'm survival preparedness for beginners today i wanted to talk about something to save the environment to save you in an emergency situation to give you people some ideas on what you could use with your recyclables and this way here we kind of save the earth we save ourselves and we feel really good because we're taking care of and covering a lot of different things and it makes us all happy knowing that we're prepared we know what to do we can grow food we can make our own little 
tools and stuff. So we have all our extra tapes and fishing line and bank line, and all that kind of stuff. And you know, and have it all stored really nice properly and everything else. And these are just some great ideas. If you have some ideas on some of the things that you may use in your house that you might recycle and use as an emergency type situation, survival tool or whatever else, put it in the comments below because it'll help everybody out in this growing community learn a little bit about survival. Till next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.